Hello, my name is Yon Dislisoglu and in this video tutorial I'm going to get you started with robotics. For this project we're going to be using an LED. Now for the, on the LED we have two pins. The longest pin is the positive and the shortest pin is the negative. Also we are going to use a buzzer, tone alarm. So piezo electronic buzzer tone alarm, DC 324 volts for physics, circuits, continuous sound. We're also going to use a breadboard, jumper wires, an Arduino, an Arduino ID, Inter Integrated Development Environment, a Visual Studio C Sharp .NET Framework to control our Arduino through Windows 11. Now, here's the Arduino in more detail. And as we go through, I'm going to explain uh, the components we're going to be using. For this video tutorial, I'm going to be using the, the pin 13 and the pin 12. Also, we're going to be using the ground, which is here, G and D. Okay, let's minimize this. Let's go to the Arduino.cc. Click on the software and then download the version more appropriate to your computer. So in my case, I've downloaded the zip file. So when you click on the zip file, you're going to be asked to donate money if you wish to donate some money or just click here to download. Once the download has completed, you can click here and basically extract the files over onto your documents area or to your desktop. In my case, I've basically drag this into my desktop and then I double click here to open the Arduino software the Arduino ID and this is I'm ready now to code in Arduino I'm also gonna open Visual Studio if you do not have a Visual Studio you need to go to Visual Studio go to Google or being a type Visual Studio community version. So Visual Studio.microsoft.com forward slash VS forward slash community. Click on download Visual Studio, start downloading for you, and then click here and then follow the, the wizard to install it. I'm not going to do that because it's already installed on my computer. I'm just going to click here, continue without code. I'm going to go to file, select new, and select project. From the first drop down list, I'm going to select C sharp. From the second drop down list, I'm going to select Windows. And from the third drop down list, I'm going to select Desktop. Again, if I go too fast, you can pause the video and you can rewind the video. Then I'm going to select Windows Form App.NET Framework and click Next. I'm going to call this project Arduino on off. light LED let's put and sound and I'm just going to click create for my project I will need three objects if you cannot see the toolbox the toolbox is located to the left hand side click on it then click on the little pin here then click and drag two buttons and scroll further down to the letter S and click and drag a serial port the serial port by default it has the 9600 rate and this is exactly what we, want, we need to put on the actual Arduino the next thing we need to do as well is find out which port our Arduino uses. So we're going to go to Arduino, we're going to click on Tools, and we're going to select Port, and then we can actually see that the port it uses is COM4. So here I need to change the COM1 to COM4. Again, so my software can communicate with Arduino. The next thing we need to do is, let's make this a bit bigger, 
and I'm just going to put one above the other so I can actually have the same size of buttons. Now the button one, I'm going to change the text value to on, capital O-N, and the name value, I'm going to call it btn on, and for the button two, I'm going to change the name value to btn off, the text value I'm going to change to off. I can always change the font size as well. So I can click here to expand the font size to 35. And I'm going to do the same for the on button, change the font size to 35. So I have the on button and I have the off button. Now I'm going to double click on the on button and I'm going to type add the following code. So I'm going to call the serial port, so serial port 1, dot write, and then I'm going to put in brackets and double quotes, I'm going to put the letter A, and semicolon to my statement. What I also need to do on the initialized component below the initialized component, I'm I need to make sure that my serial port is open. So serial port 1 dot open, open close parenthesis, semicolon to your statement. I'm going to copy this line of code here. I'm going to go to the design view, double click on the off button. And I'm just going to change the value here to B. So when somebody clicks on the on button, we're going to send to Arduino the letter A. When somebody clicks on the off button, we're going to send to Arduino the letter B. When we send the letter A, something will happen. When we send the letter B, something will happen. And in order for something to happen, we need to actually declare this into the Arduino IDE. To do this, I need to create a few variables. So I'm going to create a string variable called my data. Also, let's put some content in my statement. Also, I'm going to create a char variable. I'm just going to call it L for letter, semicolon to my statement. I'm going to create two integers variables. The first one is going to be the frequency, and the second integer will be the milliseconds, the duration of the sound. So this will be the frequency of the sound, and this will be the duration of the sound. Now I have created my variables. I'm going to go to void setup and I'm going to make sure, first of all, that my serial dot begin and in bracket, in parentheses, I'm going to put 9600 semicolon to my statement. The next thing I need to do is make sure that the pin mode 13 is open. I'll put here output, close parenthesis, semicolon to end my statement, and I'm going to right click here, copy that. I want to also open the pin 12. Now my pin 12 will play the sound. So I finish with my setup. I'm going to go now to the loop. And within my loop, first of all, I'm going to create an if statement. The first thing I need to do is check if the serial dot available is true. Yeah? If the serial is available. If the serial is not available, there's no point for me to continue. So if the serial is available, then I want something to happen. So what I want to happen, I'm going to call the variable my data. I'm going to say my data is equals to serial dot read string. This is the information that I'm going to receive from the C-sharp 
project. Then I'm going to put, make sure that the value, the variable L is equals to my data dot char at zero in parentheses, semicolon to end my statement. And then I'm going to create another if statement. I will say if L, the variable L, is equals equals to A, that's I put single quotes there. If that's true, I want something to happen. What I want to happen is I'm going to type here digital write. And then I'm going to point to the pin 13. And I'm going to make sure that the value is high. Semicolon to do a statement. And I want the same to be for the pin 12. I'm going to set the value to high. I'm also going to specify the variable for the frequency. So I'm going to say fr is equals to let's say 500 and then the milliseconds the time that the sound will play i'm just going to add 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds in fact let's make it 5000 5000 milliseconds to make it five seconds okay then i want to play a tone and the tone will come from the pin 12 the frequency will be the value of the frequency and the time will be the time I have specified on the variable in milliseconds. Now what I could do, I could scrap this too and basically just put the numbers here. The frequency, which is 500, and the milliseconds here. But for future reference, I want you to get used to developing variables so it's easier for us to actually pass data from the C-sharp in the future into uh, Arduino. Okay, I've done this now. I'm going to copy now this if statement. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to press the Enter key and I'm going to type else. Press space bar and Control V to paste. Let's remove the extra space there. Else if the letter is B, as you can see here, I've got A. If it's on, it's going to send the value of A. If it's off, it's going to send the value of B. So if it's B, I want this to be low. And low. And I want the frequency to be different. So I'm just going to change that to 50. And I'm just going to change that to 1000. Okay. So I've done now with my Arduino. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to call this On Off Sounds. Sound and LED. I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to click here on this option here to basically pass the values okay the data into my arduino let's turn the light off here so you can actually see this better okay so if i press here the data will be sent to my arduino as you can see here this is flashing so it has received the data now the uploading is finished now so my Arduino is ready. So the next thing I need to do now is put the cables, connect the cables correctly. So I'm going to put the buzzer into, that's the, the red is the positive, the black is the negative. So I'm going to put the positive for the buzzer into the pin number 12. I'm going to put the positive for the LED. The positive is the red, the negative is the black. 
on pin 13 and I'm going to put the white wire here I'm going to put this on the ground and because I have uh, two ground wires there in fact I've got three and it will, they will not fit on my single ground this is why I have to use the breadboard now so I'm going to put the ground here on the first row so this row here it doesn't really matter where I'm going to put the pin whatever you put on this row the information will be shared why the information will be shared? Let's open this because we have the same metal bar is going across. If I don't want the information to be shared, I'm going to put the first pin on the first row, the second pin on the second row. If I don't want the information to be shared, so because I want the information to be shared, I'm going to put this here. I'm also going to put the ground here on the first row and here I have one more ground okay so I've put them now all on the first row this is my LED and this is my buzzer I'm just going to put them here within the tape to make sure they stay stable. Let's put them there. Okay. So now, if I run the software, press start. So that's my software. If I press the on button, the light is turned on and the sound also is activated. Now, the sound stopped because I specified that the sound will only play for 5 seconds. If I click now on the off button, I could hear a higher pitch, but this is only 50 milliseconds. If I change that to 5,000 milliseconds, so 5 seconds, and then save this, and then upload this onto my Arduino, it will not load because the port is already, the serial port is already uh, occupied. I'm going to have to stop this project here first, then I'm going to save the project, and then I'm going to try to push the data again and now it's working so it's only going to work when the serial port is not occupied now i'm going to run the project again press the start button now if i press the on button the light is turned on and the sound will play for five seconds and if i press now the off button the light will turn off and the sound will play for five seconds. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will apply these new skills of yours in order to create good gadgets and good robotics, which will improve the lives of people in the future. Bye for now. I will see you in the next tutorial.